Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we do some practice examples on recursion. In our previous classes, we have done some examples. We use the concepts which we already discussed in our previous classes. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's example, we are going to identify reversing a given number using recursion. Suppose example 1, 2, 5, 6, 7 is the given number. We have to reverse the number means 7, 6, 5, 2, 1 is the output we have to generate. We use the concepts which we already discussed in our previous classes. We have done some examples with the similar logic but we have to do this in the recursion. To understand the recursion better, we will explain the concepts very clearly in this class clearly and slowly please follow it and please uh, put some concentration on these examples because it is very very important to understand the concept of recursion it is very very important so the example we are we are using these two concepts in our previous classes we discussed that 1 2 5 6 7 floor division 10 what's the output you will get 1 2 5 6 means we are eliminating the last digit by using the floor division with 10 so we use this concept and 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, mod 10, we are taking out the, so what's the output we are getting here? 7. So if you want to identify what's the last digit, we use modulus. If you want to eliminate the last digit, we are using floor division. We use these two concepts for the solving this problem. So how we do that? 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, floor division 10. What's the output? 1, 2, 5, 6. Floor division 10, 1, 2, 5. Floor division 10, 12. 12 floor division 10 what's the output we got a 1 so we are dividing our number we are floor dividing our number till you are getting single digit here we are having five digits in this we are having four digits in this we are having three digits two digits and single digit up to single digit we keeps on going dividing our number so what we do after this after dividing our number till you got the one digit so here one digit is there what we are doing one modulus 10 what's the output of it one so one into one plus zero what is this value so this one is this value one into one means here we are taking it as one's place see the output here what is the one's place one so that is why 1 into 1, 1's place plus initially we are taking a variable called digit and initially we are taking it as 0. So we are updating this value, digit value to the same. So 1 into 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So what's the digit value? 1. This digit value is used here in the above 12 divided by 10. What's the number here? 12. What's the 12 modulus 10? 2. So that 2 should be in that tens place that's why we are multiplying with 2 into 10 plus what's the output we got here 1 this output is taken here so 2 into 10 plus 1 that is equal to 21 this 21 is used in the above so what's the number here 125 125 modulus 10 what's the word 5 5 this 5 should be in the hundreds place that's why we 5 into 100 plus 21 that is equal to 521 this 521 is used here 6 into what's the output here 120 1256 modulus 10 means 6 6 into 1000 this 6 comes to 1000th place that's why we are using it as a 6 into 1000 plus 521 that is equal to 6521 next here 7 is the modulus operator output 7 into 10,000 place plus what's the output we got here 6521 plus 6521 that is equal to 76521 this is how we will use recursion and identify the output what's the output we need 12567 we have to change it to 76521 this is how recursion executes so let's come to the coding and understand how this logic is implemented in recursion in order to execute recursion concepts first the three points you have to identify here for any recursion pro program first thing is you have to identify the logic to stop calling the recursion recursion means a function calling itself we call it as recursion we are keeps on calling the function how long we have to keep on calling that function we have to stop somewhere where we have to stop that is the logic you have to identify so when to stop in our example when we are stopping here until you got single digit you keeps on calling the recursion 
function function calling itself uh, so that is and one uh, this is the point you have to identify in every recursion program and the next point you have to identify here is which variables are local and global variables uh, the points you have to understand local variables means the variables that belong to that function we call it as local variables global variables means uh, any function can use that variable so those are called as a global variable so how many variables are needed for this program and which comes to local variable which comes to global variable these two concepts also we have to identify so in order to execute the logic we have to define that which are global which are local so all these basics about global and local are discussed in our previous classes so if you don't have any idea about local and global please watch our previous classes and come back here and next thing next point you have to remember whenever we're doing the recursion programs what to do in the function that is what we have to identify coming to our example so here we are taking a number is a variable number is equal to we are taking the number from the input 1 2 5 6 7 is taken into this number and we are taking two global variables digit is equal to 0 10 power is equal to 1 so why we have taken this digit is equal to 0 means we 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 told it in the example digit initially we are taking it as 0 and each time we are updating the new value is used in the next function the new value is used in the next function means any function can use that variable means it should be in the global space that's why we are taking it as global variable digit is equal to 0 and we are taking 10 power is equal to 1 so why 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 we have taken this 10 power is equal to 1 we will understand when we discuss the code so this is our function we have written a function def reverse of number we are sending the number we are sending the number to here 1 2 5 6 7 first time when you call this function how many lines of code are there in this function we are having four lines of code if number greater than or equal to 10 then call the function reverse of call the function so how many times it will call till you get single digit uh, reverse of reverse of calling with a new number what is that number flow division 10 1 2 5 6 7 is the first time it's sent to this function so the next time it is calling the function which value it will send 1 2 5 6 next time when it call the function 1 2 5 next time when it call the function 1 2 next time when it call the function 1 uh, so whenever the number is greater than or equal to 10 go inside and call the function so assume that in our python program this comes to fifth line this comes to sixth line and this is seventh line and eighth line in order to complete this function these four lines has to be executed then only we say that the function is completed so fifth line sixth line what's the seventh line digit is equal to number modulus 10 into 10 power plus digit you understand that this discussion is made in our in the example before and what's so what we are doing 10 power is equal to 10 power into 10 each time we are increasing the number 10 power with 10 next time once digit next time tens digit next time hundreds digit next time thousand ten thousand so that's what that is what we are doing here each time we are increasing the number and this modified number should be used in the next function modified number should be used in the next function that's why these two variables are taken as global variables let's understand step by step how this coding will execute because it, this is the basic classes on the recursion so that's why we are explaining each and every point when we move on to the complex programs these basics will help you a lot in understanding the complex programs there we won't discuss much about recursion concept okay so how it will execute first time when we call this function when we call this function reverse of we are sending the number one two five six seven it is saved in the variable called number this is local to this function so this function is having a local variable called one two five six seven this is executing the fifth line if condition satisfies it goes to inside and call the function again so the new it is calling the function in sixth line so the new function is having a variable called number and the value is 1256 this 1256 
psi phi 6 is local to this function this point is very very important 1 2 5 6 is local to this number whenever it is this function is executing whenever it is using number means it will use this number 1 2 5 6 it is it is che checking for the condition number 1 2 5 6 is greater than or equal to 10 so again calling in the sixth line this function is calling a new function 1 2 5 in the sixth line okay again 1 2 5 is calling a new function with 12 value in the sixth line means this function stop executing at sixth line so this is calling a new function this function stop executing at sixth line this is called this function is called uh, this function is stopped executing at sixth line and it, it called this new function this function stopped executing at sixth line and this called the new function with variable one this function local variable is one what happens here let's check that one uh. so if 1 greater than or equal to 10 no condition fails it won't go into the sixth line it will jump to seventh and eighth lines what happens here after completing a seventh and eighth lines then only function completed so it this function will jump to seventh and eighth line what's the seventh line digit is equal to number mod 10 it is using number number comes from local value what's the local number for this function it is 1 1 mod 10 means 1 1 into 10 power is equal to what's the 10 power value we have taken 1 1 into 1 plus initially the digit is taken as 0 so this value is updated to digit again means the next function which is using digit value will use this new value that's why we are taking in the global space these points are very very important for a beginner he has to understand all these concepts you concentrate more it will take a lot of time to understand but you have to go and understand the concept this will help you a lot in solving the complex programs that's why we are stressing much on this concept okay so 10 power is equal to so initially what's the 10 power value we have taken we are taking it as 1 now we are doing it as 10 power is equal to 10 power into 10 so the next time when whenever if any function uses this value the 10 power value will be 10 not 1 we are updating the digit and 10 power values so this function completed which function completed this function completed this function completed means this is called by this function in sixth line so this function sixth line completed so what's the two lines it has to execute after completing the sixth line it has to execute seventh and eighth line again updating what's the number mod 10 12 is taken here number mod 10 means 2 into what is the 10 power 10 2 into 10 means 20 plus digit is equal to 1 21 hoping that you understood that this example these are the values we are getting here 2 into 10 plus 1 that is equal to 21 this 21 is updated to digit so the next function will use this 21 value that's why any function can use that variable that's why we are taking it in a global space but this 12 is a local to this function that's why we are taking in the local space this is how recursion executes so this this after completing this seventh and eighth line this function completed who called this function this function called this function in this function in sixth line sixth line completed after completing the sixth line of this function it has to continue execute the seventh and eighth line this is how recursion executes you please elaborate the example and try to understand it let's check the coding part how it's executing this is the coding part okay so digit is equal to 0 10 power is equal to 1 we are taking the input number and it, we are converting it to the integer this is the function and one more important point we have to understand we are making it as global 10 power global digit whenever you want to modify the global variables in the local space in the function we have to mention it as global global then only we can modify them if you want to just use it you can use it if you want to modify you have to mention this global global in python in remaining languages no need to mention but in python we have to mention them as a in the in the function we have to mention them as global global then only we can modify so if number greater than 10 here uh, equal to is missing if number greater than or equal to 10 reverse of 
okay equal to is not needed so if number greater than 10 reverse of a number flow division 10 digit is equal to these are the equations after coming out of this function calling recursive calling so we are calling the uh, function with this uh, here reverse of a number we are sending the first time 1 2 5 6 7 after executing this recursive function we are displaying the digit value print of a digit so finally the output is 1 2 5 6 7 7 6 5 2 1 hope you understand the concept of recursion if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you